What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can use the combination of the index and match function to look stuff up in Excel, which is great because it is much more flexible than a VLOOKUP, but also it can be used in older versions of Excel like XLOOKUP. So in this example, we want to get the sales for Joe on 11.14. And to this using index match, first we want to just type index open parentheses. Now the first argument of the index is where we want to look up the values in, right? So, well, we want to look up the values in the column for Joe. And then comma, this is now the next argument is where we're going to put in our match function, so row number. So this basically just going to return the row number, the position for what date that we have above. So match open parentheses, and then the lookup value is the date, and then lookup array is where the dates are located, and comma the match type. So in this example, we want to have an exact match, but if for some reason your index match does not have an exact match, you can use the one for less than or negative one for greater than to find a more proximate match, but this example wants to use exact match. Close parentheses, close parentheses. As you can see, the sales for Joe on November 14th is $175. Now, what if you wanted to do it the other way? You wanted to, for example, look up, look up sales, look up sales on 11.14 for Phil, for example. Um, but with kind of the logic flipped around in the sense that we are going to look up the name Bob we want to have it return to be on the 11.14th. So in this example, we're going to do some logic. And erase so where do we want to look? We want to look in a day 11.14, comma, row number. Now, in this instance, because we're not returning a row, we're returning a column, we are going to do comma one more, and that is because we want to match to the relative position of the column that we're going to find as opposed to the row, but now it's the same logic. Match, lookup value, what do you want to look up? You want to look up Bob, look up array, where you want to look it up in, you want to look it up right here, and then comma, you want to find the exact match, so we're going to type zero. As you can see, it is 174. Is what we see. Right here. We change this to fill, for example. We'll go to 181. And I said a couple of things to note is make make sure that whenever you're using the index match that you are doing the match in the proper place. So if you're looking up something in inside of a column, inside of inside of a row, for example, you want to have the row position returns. You want to have it inside of the row argument of your index. But at the same time, though, if you are returning something and you need to find the position of the column, like in this example, you want to have the match function in the column argument. And one last note is that you can actually combine the two, so you can have two match functions um, in, put together to return to return something based on two criteria. Let's just say you wanted something for Jared on eleven. 23. You know, instead of using one, we can actually use two match functions and then have them on um, base, return something based on two criteria. So we can do index, open parentheses, where do you want to look? Well, instead of looking in a specific row or a specific column, we want to look in all the rows and all the columns of this data, row number. So what row do we want to have returns? Well, we can use match function, open parentheses. Well, we want to look up the row for the date. So find the date. Lookup values is going to be the dates. Comma zero for an exact match, and then close parentheses. Comma for the next argument. Well, what column number don't we turn? Well, we want a column number that corresponds to the name Jared. So match. Open parentheses. Lookup value. We want to look up the name Jared. We look up array. We want to look it up here. And then look up zero. 
which I have the exact match. As you can see, for for eleven fifteen for Jared, it is one twenty. It is one twenty three. Yes, yeah, so that said, that said, you want to make sure that you're going to use the proper arguments, but in the proper location. It will also you can combine the two to look up something based on two criteria. And unlike the AV lookup or H lookup, your lookup you're going to be you want to make sure that the array that you're looking your value up in it does not include um, the criteria that you're going to have based on. So like in this example, we are returning sales amounts but we, we are looking up based on the date and the um, names which are separate from the sales amounts. That's it. Hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.